हरे कृष्णा इंडिया ट्रेन क्रैश अ भगवद गीता परस्पेक्टिव इंडिया हैज बीन शॉक्ड बाय वन ऑफ द मोस्ट हॉरिफिक ट्रेन एक्सीडेंट्स दैट हैपन इन ओरिसा नियर बालासोर वेयर सेवन हंड्रेड पीपल हैव बीन किल्ड एंड मेनी मोर आर इंजर्ड इन व्हाट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट हॉरिफिक एक्सीडेंट्स इन पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया i offer my heartfelt prayers to all those who have lost their loved ones and friends and i also offer my prayers to the depart for the welfare of the departed souls what can the bhagavad gita's wisdom offer us in such times of tragedy i'll talk from three perspectives three points three s first s is seriousness the bhagavad gita urges us that to take our work our role in society seriously lok sangraham eva api sampashyan kartum arasi that each one of us has a role to play in the maintenance of the world and our responsibilities need to be taken with new seriousness till now there's no finding of any deliberate malice on the part of anyone that caused this crash it could be that the driver took a uh, went on the wrong rail the signal person was a little negligent or whatever happened we live in such a complicated and interconnected world that one person's small indiscretion can snowball into a huge catastrophe for hundreds or even thousands of people sometimes as we are realize how big the world is we may start thinking my role in the world is insignificant people who drive trains people who signal at train crossings they are not considered very high profile or glamorous people in the world and because of that they may tend to devalue their work we also may tend to devalue our work thinking it's not important but such such occasions where the catastrophic consequences of one mistake in one work become aware to uh, become evident to us at that time rather than piling up on that person who made the mistake yes they are responsible but we all can take our work more seriously the bhagavad gita helps us in this by telling us that we should work as if we are worshiping swa karmana tam abhyarcha siddhim vindati manava that if we are worshiping say if we are doing aarti then while doing aarti with one hand we won't be watching a tiktok video on the other hand so similarly our work deserves to be done seriously second point second s is strength amid such times where do we draw our strength from normally we may draw our strength from our wealth from our power social position our social media following our physical fitness and all those things are important in their own place but they are all fallible soldiers asat swasainya shu as the shrimad bhagavatam says now all these leave us vulnerable and destructible beyond all these externals at our core internally we are spiritual beings we are atma and the atma is invincible and indestructible and the atma the soul has an inalienable relationship with the parmatma with bhagwan with krishna and to the extent we find shelter in our soul and the soul's relationship with the whole to that extent we can face difficulties and adversities and tragedies like this with greater steadiness and grace nainam chinnanti chastrani nainam dahati pavakaha न चैन क्लेदयो न शोषयति मारुतःचुअल जर्नी विद द परमात्मा नेक्स्ट टू देम कैन गिव अट्रेंथ टू फेस दिच्युएशन and the last s is service attitude 
what can we do when such things things happen if we consider a pendulum we might go to two extremes one is we might just think that life stings terrible things happen and everything is pointless we might just become bitter and hopeless thinking that people are going about their normal life and suddenly such tragedies happen what a terrible place the world is that can make us bitter the other extreme could be that we can misuse and misapply some philosophical point like karma and start becoming judgmental and say oh all those people who died they were terrible people that's why this happened to them now in the maha in the bhagavatam when a similar catastrophe seems to be coming about it's not a train accident but it's a famine which seems to be threatening to cause mass starvation and death at that time this is described in the fourth canto the citizens go to king truthu at that truthu doesn't say oh it's all your mass karma suffer it truthu immediately takes action to fix the situation so we avoid bitterness we avoid judgmentality we focus on service attitude that the same krishna who speaks the bhagavad gita to arjuna also solaces arjuna after his son abhimanyu is killed brutally on the 13th day of the kurukshetra war at that time krishna tells arjuna in this world adversities befall everyone the wise people and the unwise people the difference between the two of them is that the unwise act in ways that make things worse whereas the wise act in ways that make things better so we could ask the question why do bad things happen to good people and we could say that life is meaningless and there are no answers to such questions or we would become we can become judgmental and pit and that is all their karma but we should focus on what is our dharma in general the bhagavatam reframes the question instead of asking why do bad things happen to good people when bad things happen to good people what do good people do so what can we do in such a situation just as krishna told arjuna to act in ways that things make make things better we can also act in ways that make things better gahana karmano gati the way specifically how karma works is very difficult to understand and the whole point of karma is not to blame people for the bad things that have happened to him it is never to blame and shame the victims the purpose of karma is to assure us that our actions matter there are times when it may seem that we can't see how our actions matter but ultimately we have two choices when living that either our actions don't matter and the world is just arbitrary and cruel and pointless or our actions matter and we all can make a difference no matter how small so in such a situation we can see how we can act to make things better if we are in a position where we can offer some practical assistance to those who have been afflicted by this accident or we can offer emotional support we can try to do that if we can offer some philosophical wisdom by which people can cope with the suffering they can find some meaning in the suffering then we can do that the bhagavad gita stands ready for that but either way we focus on the service attitude and when we do this we will understand as we try to act in a way to make things better in a mood of service then we, we and especially if we do in the mood of service not just what i am doing on behalf of helping for helping others but that i am connected with the whole the divine krishna and krishna the gita says is the well wisher of everyone surudam sarvabhutana god is not the cause of our suffering he is the cure for our suffering and when we act in the mood of service trying to serve krishna and serve every living being in relationship with krishna then we will find that we may become aided that by a bigger power that a bigger power beyond us can act through us to help make things better even if in a small yet significant way but the world is a dark place and incidents like this are sobering reminders of how dark and dangerous the world we live in is but still if we take our responsibility seriously we 
seek strength in our spirituality and we act in a mood of service then we all can play our small part in making our corner of the world brighter instead of darker thank you hare krishna